Bits and pots always politics, isn't it? Well, not today because we've decided to have a day out. We've come to the Bethel City Church in Abbey Alton to see what they are doing so differently because as we all know across Stoke-on-Trent, across the whole of the country, Christian churches, congregations are diminishing in size. Not here though, they're doing something very, very differently. Let's go inside and see what it is that's making them so popular. I'm here with James, Sarah and Paul of Bethel City Church in stoke on -Trent. Uh, Guys, could you first of all tell me what Bethel City Church is and how it came about, please? Um, Bethel City Church is um, a, a new church, we're only two years old. Um, when I say new, we um, inherited a church from the past, but we decided to close it down and, um, because we felt it wasn't going anywhere or being a progressive in its nature. And um, We started two years ago. And um, it's a Pentecostal church uh, that serves the whole of the city of Stoke and Trent. Okay, thanks. So you just said that Bethel City Church is a Pentecostal church. Yeah. Now, could you explain to me what Pentecostal churches believe and how are they different from, say, Church of England or Roman Catholic churches? There's kind of three spheres of church. So you've got the, the charismatic sphere, you've got the evangelical sphere, um, and Pentecostal is in the middle. So we're kind of mainline, as it were. That's how it kind of operates. So now comes the question that uh, has been puzzling me. I've looked at your website, and I've been now to one of your services, and the question is that given that churches across the country have got falling congregations, how is Bethel City booking that trend? Uh, totally. We've grown from, from 60 to 500 in two years, so I think we're booking it big time. But what's the secret behind that? What do you think is drawing people to your church where they're falling away from others. We've seen churches closed down, turned into houses, pubs, and yet your church is vibrant and thriving. Why? Well, I'll tell you from my point of view, and then maybe you can ask Sarah, because Sarah comes to the church and um, give a better answer, actually, maybe. Um, I think it's growing at such a phenomenal rate because what we've done is we've stripped back all the stuff that religion has made church um, alien to our society and we've stripped it all back and just got back to the raw essence of what church is about. And church is about loving and inspiring people for works of service. It's about affecting the community in which they live. And it's about glorifying God. And that's it. And, and we've stripped everything back and we focus on them three areas. And, um, and people are responding to that. Yeah, here is it's a place where you can come and belong. Um, we have people from all different backgrounds. And um, everybody here is received and loved for who they are and inspired to be all they can be. Um, you get people that have come and um, travelled a long way to come here because there isn't a lot of churches like this in the area and people want to be here because we have such a good time and um, there is such a great atmosphere and my children are here in this church and they love it, they can't wait for Sunday, they can't wait to get to church and I am so proud to be bringing my children up in this church. <laughs> Sarah, can I just ask you a question then? Yeah. Were you part of a traditional congregation before you came to Bethel City? I was part of, of this church as it was before and then left because I um, felt very frustrated. It wasn't really going anywhere. And so we were travelling up to places like Manchester, to Bradford, to really um, to be a part of something good, something that it was worth really getting up in the morning and going for. Um, but when, when James and, and Pastor Becky, when they came here, and um, it just turned it all around and to have something that's in so good trend like this is amazing um, it's everything we've ever prayed for and more i've read on your blog james mm -hmm. that uh, you love britain and you think it's the greatest place in the world to live so with that it's a bit of a complicated question do you think that a country's religion and its national identity are tied together because i noticed that your church is, if you forgive me, I think, 
quite an American style church. Okay. So do you think that Christianity is essential to the British identity? Um, I think, um, I, I would say we're more Australian than American. Um, that if you look at the general church in, in, the, in the world, we're, we're sort of that way inclined and quite a, quite free and sort of no worries type attitude. Um, and I think um, in the UK, I think religion is, is massive. I think it's part of who we are. I think it's the foundational questions of who we are. Um, in any nation, their, their religion and their, their belief, their faith system is, is the basis of who, they are, who we are because, because faith um, creates um, some answers to some questions like um, where we've come from, why we're here, and where, where are we going, and, and what's the reason for all of it. And, and faith adds the answer to that. And I think in our nation, I think faith is a, is a massive, massive subject that, that maybe things like um, media or, or things like um, certain institutions, educational institutions, even the church itself, have marginalised the understanding of what it is to have faith. Um, and, and they've created um, a form of rules and regulations which is not free, which is not Bible. And if we can get back to what Bible's about, it's about relationship rather than religion, and it helps with what I talked about today, about faith, hope and love, bringing and injecting that into our society. Much has been made recently of the growth in Britain of Islam. Yeah. Do you think that Christianity can re-engage a secular Britain and counter the decline in faith? Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely we can engage in Britain, I think. Um, part of who we are is we, we've lost touch with who we are and when we find our identity again mm -hmm. of what church is actually about of course because Christianity is all about God and it's all about people so if you want to live real Christianity you've got to engage with God and you've got to engage with people so when we find out who we are then of course we'll engage with our nation. Why do you think that Bethel City Church can succeed where the traditional church has failed? Because we're relevant and um, we're going to keep being relevant, we're going to keep moving forward and keep changing and show people that Jesus is alive and that's what life is all about. I was going to say that we, we can't guarantee that but we must always be aware of that in order that we can carry on changing and carry on being that's relevant. If we ever think we've made it then I think we've missed it. It's about keeping our eyes on, on Jesus and what the word says and, and, and constantly changing and being relevant to people and being real with people and not trying to be something that we're not. So um, we can't guarantee it but hopefully we'll carry on. Yeah.